In this video, we'll be looking at series and their convergence and divergence. First, we need a few definitions. A sequence is a list of numbers that goes on forever. For example, here, the sequence is A1, A2, A3, and so on. And this sequence would often be written AN inside parentheses. We write the nth term in the sequence as AN. And the green dots indicate that the sequence goes on forever. A series is the sum of terms from a sequence. And we write it like this. We might also write uh, the series more informally as A1 plus A2 plus A3, and so on. Of course, the variable name that we use to index the series doesn't matter. We could call it K or P or anything else. It doesn't change the series. In this video, we're going to be asking what it means to sum infinitely many numbers you'll need to be familiar with the idea of convergence of sequences. Two of the main results in convergence of sequences are the sandwich theorem, or the squeezing lemma, and the monotone sequence theorem. And the monotone sequence theorem has two versions for non-decreasing and non-increasing sequences. So now we want to know what it could possibly mean to sum together infinitely many numbers? And the answer is this. This infinite series really means the limit of the sum of the first n terms as n tends to infinity, if that limit exists. We can say that a different way by introducing the sequence Sn of partial sums, where Sn is the sum of the first n terms of the series. And then, if that sequence converges, we say that the series converges. And if that sequence tends to plus infinity or minus infinity or has no limit, we say that the series diverges. If the sequence of partial sums tends to a finite limit, S, then we say that the series tends to that limit, S, and we write it like this. We want to find ways of determining whether a series diverges or converges. If it diverges, it's often easy to see why it fails to converge. For example, the sequence of partial sums may tend to infinity. If the series converges, we may be able to find the value of the limit, s. But often not. And the reason is, that it's much easier simply to show that a series converges than to find the value that it converges to. Let's look at a couple of examples. This is an example of a series you may be familiar with, and you may already know that this series does converge, and you may even know the value that it converges to. So let's see how this series fits into the framework we've just introduced. Let's look at the partial sums. The first partial sum is simply the first term of the series. The second partial sum is the sum of the first two terms in the series. The third partial sum is the sum of the first three terms. And the fourth partial sum is the sum of the first four terms. In this case, we can even determine a formula for the nth partial sum, Sn. In this case, Sn is simply 1 minus 2 to the minus n. We want to show that our series converges to 1. In other words, we want to show that the limit of the partial sums as n tends to infinity is 1. Another way of saying that is that we want to show that the limit as n tends to infinity of Sn is 1. And here's yet another way of writing the same thing. We want to show that Sn tends to 1 
as n tends to infinity. But we know this is the case because Sn is simply 1 minus 2 to the minus n. And as n tends to infinity, 2 to the minus n tends to 0. So Sn tends to 1 minus 0, which is 1. We've shown what we set out. The series converges because the sequence of partial sums converges. And the series converges to 1 because the sequence of partial sums converges to 1. Let's look at one more example. In this series, all the terms have the value 1. So we're trying to calculate 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on. And this series diverges to plus infinity. To put this into the framework that we've introduced in this video, let's look at the partial sums. Here, the first partial sum is simply the first term of the series, which is 1. The second partial sum is the sum of the first two terms, which is 2. The third partial sum is the sum of the first three terms, and so on. If we look at the partial sums, we can see that Sn tends to infinity as n tends to infinity. And so the sequence of partial sums does not converge, and that series diverges. If we want to be more precise, we can say that that series diverges to plus infinity. So in this video, I've introduced the idea of an infinite series, and I've talked about convergence and divergence. Now for any given series, what we'd really like is a test that enables us to determine whether the series converges or diverges. And if you want to find out about the tests that you can apply to a given series, uh, you should look at some of the other videos we've made on this topic.